So in this problem, we're told to use logarithmic differentiation to find the derivative of the function y equals x to the 6 cosine of x. And so first I want to talk about what logarithmic differentiation is and when do we use it. So we use it when we have one function, like in this case x raised to another function, so 6 times the cosine of x. And then I'll show you how it works now. So let's just first rewrite our function. So we have y equals x to the 6 cosine of x. And so it works by taking the uh, natural log of both sides. So if we go ahead and do that, we'll have the ln of y is equal to the ln of x raised to the 6 cosine of x. Uh, and so when you have the ln of a function raised to another function, what you can do is move that exponent uh, function out front. So I'm going to rewrite this as 6 cosine of x times the ln of x. That's just another way to rewrite it. So this is going to make it easier to solve. So now what we want to do is find the derivative of it. Because that's what we're asked to do. We're asked to find y prime. So if we take the derivative of the ln of y, well, the derivative of ln of x is 1 over x, but we're doing it with respect to y. So we do y. Then we multiply that by the derivative of our inside. And so the derivative of y is y prime because the derivative of y is just 1. But since we're differentiating y, we multiply by y prime. So just y prime. And then now we need to find the derivative of this part. So the derivative of 6 cosine of x times the ln of x. First thing we want to do is find the derivative of 6 cosine of x. So the derivative of cosine of x is minus sine x, and then we multiply by 6, so it's going to be minus 6 cosine of x, or minus 6 sine of x. And then we multiply it by the ln of x. Then we do plus, and then we want to find the derivative of ln of x, and then multiply it by 6 times the cosine of x. So the derivative of ln of x is 1 over x. And then we multiply it by 6 times the cosine of x, so it's just going to be 6 times the cosine of x over x. And so, there we go. And then, now that we got it like this, we need to get the y prime by itself because that's what we're solving for. So if we multiply both sides by y, that's going to give us this. So if we do that, we'll get y prime equals y times this whole thing. But y is equal to x to the 6 cosine of x. So instead of writing y, we'll write x to the 6 cosine of x. And then we're multiplying this whole thing by minus 6 sine of x times the ln of x plus 6 times the cosine of x over x. And so this is going to be the answer to this question.